How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, MLB rebuilds are back. I know you guys have been wanting to see this. So if you guys want to see some more, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you are new and enjoyed the content, and also let me know in the comment sections below what other teams to do. We're down to a few. We have the Astros, the Royals, the Diamondbacks, and there's one more. There's one more. The Dodgers. Yeah, I think that's it. I think those are the final ones. So if you guys want to see that, make sure you hit that like button, keep showing support on the channel. Um, I do want to keep doing FIFA. I might start doing some like ultimate team stuff and also some career mode. So I know you guys have been built on MLB stuff, but um, MLB is just getting stale. It's kind of coming towards the end of the year anyways. So if you guys want to see some other stuff, let me know and I definitely will bring it to you guys. Um, I do want to keep doing MLB stuff. So there'll be some challenges and stuff coming up. But for right now, I just wanted to, you know, kind of freshen it up, bring some new stuff to the channel. Um, but I do want to finish up these rebuilds with this team so again if you're enjoying them make sure you hit that like button subscribe and uh let's let's get into it um the big thing with the red sox the best team in baseball currently is there's their pitching's a little on the older side you know you got chris sales about to hit 30 craig kimbrell's about to hit 30 um they're starting pitching you got david price who's into his 30s already um porcello Yavaldi, Stephen wright they're all you know in that 30 age group so it's kind of like we need to we need a youth in that part of the squad a little bit and a team like the red sox they're so strong already you know when we look at their prospects they do have some decent looking prospects down here but i don't think in this rebuild they're going to be good enough to help us anytime soon so i uh, i'd probably be only be focusing on the mlb ready players currently so Starting pitching wise, I just want to get younger. So David Price, as much as his career has been pretty good, I'm going to have to let him go. On top of that, his contract is just really big. Um, and I'd rather use that that money somewhere else. Um, Porcello is hit or miss. So we'll have to wait and see how he does. I'm really going to give him like one season and see how it works. Um, and then trade him. And his head looks really small right now. I don't, I don't understand that. Eovaldi is a decent pitcher. Um, for a four or five spot and then Eduardo Rodriguez I know when you call him up to the majors he his his rating just jumps up and he actually develops into a really good starting pitcher so you guys can see he's already a 79 um, and I think that's going to be the move for us for the starting spot so really I'm looking to find maybe one or two starters for this year Carson Smith and Tyler Thornburg again they're kind of in that upper 20 age group along with the rest of the relief core so I'm thinking about moving some people around um, making some trades to kind of you thin up this relief pitching staff uh, Craig Kimbrell's looking good we don't need another closer catcher wise Christian Vasquez and Blake Swihart both develop pretty quickly um, so I'm okay with um, those two being our catchers and then I'll probably move Sandy Leon on Mitch Moreland makes about three million over the next two years so I'm probably gonna trade him and I already have a, a first baseman in mind Dustin Pedroia, Ian Kinsler and Brandon Phillips all in the mid 30s as much as I've liked watching them over the years as second baseman, it's it's time for them to move on. I really don't want to like move on Dustin Pedroia, but again, it's a massive contract. I'd rather use it somewhere else, especially maybe at a new second baseman or a first baseman, since those are kind of the the, the actual like outfielders, not like the pitching that we we need help with second and first base the most. So I'll probably move on from these guys. Um, to find someone younger edward uh, eduardo nunez another one of those players who you know is gonna want a, a decent amount of money and i don't know if i want to pay that when we have rafael devers right behind him who is just as good he's younger better potential you know you see what i'm saying here so rather than pay him in free agency why not just trade him while we can get something for him and then let Devers play that third base spot. Xander Bogarts, not going anywhere. He's our shortstop. JD Martinez is our DH. Um, I know his contract's massive, but I'm cool with him being our DH. He's he's going to hit us some home runs. He's going to bring in runs. Plus, we have Andrew Benatendi right behind him in left field, who's going to develop into an amazing left fielder. Jackie Bradley Jr. is hit or miss. He either does really well or really bad. So we'll have to hope and pray that he stays on uh, you know the, the really good side of the spectrum and uh plays well for us mookie Betts again he's not going anywhere he's staying as our right fielder so really the big things are second and first and then youthen up this pitching staff and that's really the moves i want to make for this red uh red sox rebuild i don't think it should be longer than two seasons i think we can win world series season one and two if we don't 
then we'll probably have a season three but i think this is gonna be one of the quicker ones that we do just because i feel like this team is really really good and we don't really need to make too many changes besides um youthening up the team so there so let me make these trades i'll show you guys what we're looking like after see for or for season one um after the moves and uh let's get this started so the trade that we're making um like i said david price is one of those players i'm looking to move we're adding um mike shawarin or Sh shawarin uh whatever he, he, i suck with names you guys know that by now tanner hawk is also leaving um and they're going to texas to join up with the rangers we're getting ronald guzman our new first baseman as well as alex claudio and drew hutchinson you know mid-20s um decent little bullpen arms for us and i think this is really going to help us um with that being said though we're we now have like a surplus of pitching um in the bullpen so we're gonna move some of those guys see if we can find some prospects maybe for them just so that we have some other trade pieces going forward next trade we're making is with the angels again like i said we're looking to move some of these older pitchers matt barnes even though he is one of the better ones that we have um, i'm okay with him leaving along with heath hembry um, we're also trading sandy leone which is he's kind of an excess catcher at this point we're getting taylor ward who's one of the um, least exciting prospects that we're getting out of this trade Matt Thice or Tice he's gonna be um, another one of the pieces who actually low 20 64 overall he looks pretty solid and then um, Kenyon Middleton um, a reliever that I know develops very quickly so I think by season two he definitely will be a part of our bullpen so this is the trade that we made for just some some prospects some trade pieces um, and maybe even a pitcher who's gonna help us out in season two in Middleton so that's the second trade this is the big trade that I was looking to um, have I knew that our bullpen was kind of on the older side and again I like I said I did want to hear that um but for Andrew Miller who is 95 overall and I know he stays at that rating I would love for him to be that setup man and then we let Mitch Moreland and Dustin Pedroia go Another thing is because Pedroia's contract is so big, along with Moreland kind of being expensive for his rating, it's kind of difficult to find teams that have the salary space available to make trades. So adding Andrew Miller, you know, we're basically taking half the salary and a really good player. It's it's just a no, it's just like no hesitation to make this trade. Alrighty, this is another pretty big trade actually. Paul DeYoung and Michael Walker are gonna be joining us up in Boston. Um, for Marco Hernandez, Ian Kinsler, and Eduardo Nunez. Like I said, I'd rather have Devers play that third base spot, especially when Eduardo Nunez is probably going to leave after the season anyways. Um, Ian Kinsler is aging, so there's no real point in keeping him around. Might as well get something for him while we can. And I think it's a pretty good return. We get a new starting pitcher, which we actually do need once um, since David Price left. And then we also get one of the best developing shortstops in a sim style franchise and Paul DeYoung I know I get him a lot and actually wanted to make a different trade where I went um I think it was I wanted to do Scooter Jeanette and Luis Castillo um so if you guys would have done Scooter Jeanette and Luis Castillo from the Reds instead um let me know um if I would have done the trade with the Reds I actually wouldn't have needed to use eduardo nunez i could have used him in a different piece on a different trade so let me kn know what you guys think should i have done this should i do this trade or would you guys have done a different one where i could have just done kinsler and hernandez um basically here let me let me show you what this is this is basically how it would have worked um with the reds i would have gone with Jeanette and uh luis castillo and i wouldn't need Eduardo Nunez this is the trade I would have made and then I would have had Nunez to make a different trade um, but Luis Castillo Scooter Jeanette um, they're kind of players who can develop and maybe they won't develop so I think with making this trade with the Cardinals I think it gives us um, two players that I know will develop and kind of gives me a little bit better security in um, creating this trade so I think this is a good one i like it better than the reds one even though we could have used eduardo nunez in a different trade if we went with the reds um but that's that's a solid trade i, I like that one a lot to start the season this is what we're looking like um our bench is looking a little weak so let me see if we can uh 
pull anybody up that could possibly help us this season um i'm thinking like a middle infielder or something so maybe michael chavis let's see that drops him down though so i don't really want to do that um i don't really know i i mean we don't really have anybody who could i guess steve pierce can come up to the majors and um, you can see this is this is what we're rocking with. I mean, it looks really good. I mean, Guzman and Swihart are our lowest players, and Guzman and Swihart should develop very very quickly. Rotation wise, this is what we're looking at, like as well. It's looking really solid. Um, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Um, really, the players I'm worried about are Kelly and maybe Hutchinson, but overall, it's looking very very strong. Um, so moving into like draft day and stuff. I normally focus on the draft, especially with um, like the first season, because usually by season three, there is like one player that we have that actually becomes a pretty big piece into our team. You know, they usually become a decent bench bat, a decent pitcher, or even a starter. But with this team, we are so strong that I just don't even know if it's possible for um, them to actually make a contribution. So. Um, I'll probably let the CPU handle all the scouting and then just kind of go into the draft and kind of guess but um, So I'll see you guys at draft day and um, let's see how it goes as Expected if you don't scout you're probably gonna get some bad picks and uh, we definitely got some really bad picks um, Doug Sherry was our first round pick. He's got 83 potential. He's 66 overall. So not a bad first pick um, outside of that though It went pretty poorly Sean McDonald um, 76 potential um bradford incarnacion's got 79 potential which is pretty decent to see um those are his stats he's 56 overall but outside of that not the best of drafts and that's that's fully expected i thought he would have been so much better um but unfortunately he's not um cesar baez looks pretty poor so we'll probably actually just let him go um and i'll see you guys at deadline day as you can as you can see in the east we're doing pretty solid 76 and 33 we have a 21 and a half game lead over the yankees who are 500 um it's it's going pretty poor pretty poorly um but you can see the wild card is pretty even um looking at the squad i i feel like we're just doing really well chris sale is a 99 overall porcello's up to an 84 he's 15 and 1 on the year with a two ERA, um, Michael Walker's an 81, not not bad. 11 and four for Eduardo Rodriguez, and then Evaldi's um, an 80, so that's pretty solid to see. Drew Pomeranz has actually gone up as well. Hutchinson's gone up a couple ratings. Um, Thornburg, meh. Carson Smith is going down, which is unfortunate to see. Joe Kelly is wow, <laughs> that's not good to see. Um, Alex Claudio. Uh, I guess his performance. Yeah, yeah, he, he's not been doing too solid um, Andrew Miller is doing Andrew Miller things. So he's you know really good and Craig Kimbrell He's going down in rating which is a little bit unfortunate to see but overall It looks like the team's doing pretty solid looking at the squad Mookie Betts is hitting 342 Holy cow Xander Bogarts is an 87 JD Martinez is hitting 321 Paul de Jong is an 89 as a second baseman like that is crazy he's gone up four ratings in one season um ben attendees 86 um guzman's already up to a 79 so you can see like that's just crazy plus he's hitting 300 on the year with 16 homers devers has jumped up to an 81 jackie bradley jr um is doing all right and then christian vasquez has been our catcher because swihart's currently injured as expected these two probably aren't going to be doing too much for us but overall I'm liking what I'm seeing. Like I said, this is probably going to be one of the strongest teams we're going to be able to create. Um, starting pitching wise, I think we're set. I don't think we need to make any changes to it. I do want to make some changes to the bullpen just based on some of the ERAs and stuff that I'm seeing. And then I think the lineup is just like stupendous. So we don't need to make any changes there. So really, let's solidify this bullpen and make this team unstoppable. I'm going to be making a move for the Cubs, Justin Wilson. Um, he, he will be a free agent come the end of the year, but I feel like for Joe Kelly and Tyler Thorne. Ooh, do I want to get rid of Tyler Thornburg? You know what? Yeah, I'm okay with that trade. Yeah, let's let's make that trade. And I feel like that's 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 a decent move. We get a we get another lefty in the bullpen, um, which I mean, actually kind of 
hurts us since we have so many already. Um, we're going for Alex Colomb of the Mariners, 29 years old, 86 overall. Um, Alex Scherf, as well as Stephen Wright and Robbie Scott are all going to be um, parts of the trade. We add a new righty. He's high rated to the bullpen. I think this is this this is really what we need. Um, and like at this point, we're just you know we're just making the team even stronger and stronger and stronger. So right now, I'm feeling very 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 confident with the squad. Um, like the lineup is almost all 80s at this point. The pitching rotation is just unreal. So uh, I'll see you guys at the end of the season and. Um, I'm expecting some big things come postseason time. As you can see, first season, 113 wins, under 50 losses. We had a really solid season. Um, we're taking on the winner of the wild card game. Let's quickly look at league leaders. JD had home runs, ribbies, and Mookie Betts had average. So, how? F oh, geez. And pitching wise, it looks really solid as well. So, was JD anywhere? No, JD wasn't even close for the Triple Crown. He's not even in the top 10 so you guys can see we definitely yeah we definitely crushed it this year offensively and pitching wise awards Mookie Betts had the silver slugger um, Chris Hale won MVP holy cow um, gold glove to two players and then Cy Young went to Chris Sale as well looking at the standings you guys can see 33 game difference and <laughs> the Yankees didn't make the The Yankees didn't make the playoffs. Are you serious? Um, but it looks like the rest of the AL was pretty strong. Um, you can see 90 wins there, 90 wins there. These two almost had 90 wins as well. Um, in the East, the Nationals had 100 wins. The Cubs almost had 100 wins. The Brewers were up there as well. Um, the Dodgers and then the Fillers and Fillers, Phillies and Brewers got the wild card. So let's look at the team. Chris Sale, 23 and four with a 2-3 ERA. That is crazy. Um, Porcello, he had a what 20 and 2, 227 ERA. How did he not win Cy Young with stats like that? Um, Michael Walker was 14 and 6 with a 3 3 ERA, Eduardo Rodriguez 16 and 5 with a 3 3 ERA, and Eovaldi like the pitching was unreal with this squad. Pomeranz, okay, okay, Hutchinson, a little bit better from the first half Carson Smith he definitely turned it around second half of the season Justin Wilson pitched pretty well um, Alex Claudio got his ERA down a little bit but he still kind of struggled Alex Colomb was lights out for us Andrew Miller looks like he did pretty well and then Craig Kimbrell's continuing to go down so maybe not pay him a lot maybe pay Andrew Miller a lot and keep Andrew Miller in the squad you guys can see the team looks like they're going it went pretty well 339 for Mookie Betts that's crazy good numbers Xander Bogarts hit 274 JD Martinez like is an absolute monster Paul DeYoung he's an absolute monster Ben Attendee's 87 overall he had good numbers Ronald Guzman in his first season he had really nice numbers to see Devers is an 84 um, not bad Jackie Bradley Jr. looked like he had a pretty solid season and like I said, our catchers are up to 80 as well. Um, Blake Swihart was hurt for most of the year, so I don't expect him to develop. But um, overall, very impressed with the way the squad looks. Um, Pitching-wise, we do have a couple nice-looking prospects down there. Um, Relief-wise, Kenyon Middleton, Middleton is up to a 70 already, so that's good to see. And then you got we got a couple other names down there. Um, some good-looking first baseman prospects. Uh, let's see, let's see. Chavis is still 63, which isn't too exciting. Zhu Wei Lin. Okay, okay. So we got a couple, you know, younger players that are developing pretty quickly. So let's see the playoff picture. We're taking on the Angels or the Athletics. So we're taking on the Athletics. First game went well. Set Whoa, hey. Okay, Porcello. What's, what's going on there? Okay, we got that game. Are you kidding me? Like, you you can't you. What is going on? Um, I'm not taking any chances, and uh, we're going into this one. All right, 
my luck with these games recently has been so bad um we're down two nothing we have a 99 on the mound like what is what is going on here we're not getting hits we have one hit through four innings okay we get on there devers bradley vasquez like what Like, we're going to get knocked out first round after absolutely killing it this season. Where are the bats? We're down. We, we're getting knocked out. Like, I'm just. What? I. I just. The Dodgers defeated the Indians. How did we lose? All right, let's just, we're going to the off season. I don't understand any of what just happened. Let's, let's do this. Exclusive negotiations. Hopefully we get all these guys back. All right, so these players got um, arbitration along with Hutchinson and Swihart. The rest of these guys did not um, contracts wise. Yeah, these three will be the big ones. The rest are going to be like minor leaguers. So um, I'll tell you that. And basically, let's, let's see if we can do anything in free agency. If not, it'll probably be start of the season. We'll make some trades. So yeah, as you guys can see, we lost out on Andrew Miller. Um, that's a huge bummer. So we did sign Jury's Familia. And I think that's really going to be the only move we make in free agency. All right, the next trade we're making. Uh, well, actually, not the next trade. But the first trade we're making for season two is Jerickson Profar for Sean McDonald and an A pitching prospect in Jay Groom. Um, the thing is, we kind of need some more bench bats, and I'm okay with letting two prospects go for a player who's going to help us now. With that being said, um, this is kind of how our team is looking. Um, I brought in Kelby Tomlinson as kind of a utility player, um, just because I know he's pretty consistent, and um, I think in a, you know he'll help us out. We kind of lacked bench bats last season so we're gonna have tomlinson vasquez and profar as our main bench bats outside of that um we don't really need to make too many changes i think the the pitching staff looks really good um another player that we brought in from free agency was brandon finnegan i thought for a mid 20 year old b potential player he's a good piece to have just in case we kind of need to make a trade due to injury or anything down the line so um we do have an extra player now in the majors which means I'm gonna send him down to triple a and i think that that was a trade that needed to be done i think it was a really good trade um in terms of us getting a player who is going to strengthen the team and just make us a little bit better you know we i feel like last season just i don't understand how that happened like how are we getting knocked out by the a's when we're the best team in the league so this is this is how we're gonna line up um I didn't really I don't think we need to make too many changes like just the team looks amazing as is so why change anything so let's hop into it um, and I'll see you guys at deadline day all right as you guys can see the Yankees have definitely turned it up from last season only nine games behind this time we're 74 and 33 at the break and um, I feel like some something's a little bit off um, I just I've noticed some weird wins these are the the draft picks in the CPU a couple decent looking players but again probably players that'll never make an appearance in this rebuild um, pitching rotation sales still doing amazing Eduardo Rodriguez having a bit of a rough patch it's looking like um, Michael Walker's looking really good Porcello's looking decent and Eovaldi so it's looking like Rodriguez is the one that's getting hit up the most Pomeranz um, he's got a decently high ERA Cologne Wilson's looking good. Claudio's looking good. Carson's looking. Eh, he's going down in rating. Juris Familia. Okay. And then Kimbrel. Okay. Looking at the team as a whole, I mean, offensively, we look pretty sound. I don't see why we're doing, you know, why we wouldn't be scoring runs. Tomlinson, like I said, is just a good bench bat. Vasquez looks like he's developing quite nicely. Pierce is even up to a 71. And then Guzman. Has been taken over by Jerks and Profar. Hey, dog, calm down. Um, but yeah, that's uh interesting. Why is Jerks and Profar starting over Guzman? 
unless Guzman was having like a rough season, but he's hitting 278. It's not that bad. So, I mean, overall, I mean, I'm liking the squad. I think we're really good. I don't maybe maybe solidify the bullpen again. Maybe move Pomeranz and Smith. Maybe find a new uh, long reliever. That might be the move. I think that might be the move. Just because Pomeranz is looking like he's having a a bit of a rough patch this season compared to last year. Like his ERA is already up a full a full point. So. And Carson Smith is decreasing anyway. So maybe move those two, find a new long reliever. Um, other than that, I'm liking what I'm seeing. I think the team's looking really good. Um, so let's see what I can do. A player I know I've traded for recently, Carlos Martinez. But ever since he's got moved to the bullpen, him being in that long relief role is just, just deadly. Um, Pedro Castellanos, Carson Smith, and Drew Pomeranz are being moved to the Cardinals. So another Cardinals trade. But... I think it's worth it you know having Carlos Martinez in kind of that long relief role I mean it just it just looks good it looks like that's where he belongs um, similar ERA to what Pomeranz had but I think he'll do just just fine like there's no real worry about it um I guess we could look for a new starter I mean we do have the trade pieces for it um, actually I know we have the trade pieces for it and oh we do have I completely forgot we had Hutchinson down here and Kenyon Middleton so I mean there we go man I've, I was I was wondering why our bullpen looked a little strange at the beginning of the season we forgot Hutchinson he's up to an 81 as you guys can see 105 and 57 we won our division and taking on the playoff team so um, again it's looking like you know holy cow again pitching wise it looks pretty strong there um, no offensive league leaders this year. Guzman and Betts won gold gloves. And then Cy Young again, Chris Sale. So, um, we finished six games ahead of the Yankees. And then you guys can see the rest of the, you know, the divisions. Um, it's looking like the Dodgers were the best team in baseball this year. So, looking at, you know, Chris, Chris Sale won Cy Young 17 and 10. Interesting. Especially since Waka went 19 and 4. Interesting. Definitely interesting to see. But Michael Waka went 19 and 4. Eduardo Rodriguez, not as good as last year. Definitely not as good as last year. Porcello, not as good as last year ERA wise, but you know, still a decent year. And Eovaldi um, was actually better this year. So that's good to see. Carlos Martinez, similar numbers to. Um, how he was when like when we picked him up he was about a mid three era cologne justin wilson that's those are some good numbers right there um alex claudio definitely better than last year definitely better than last year hutchinson he even pitched pretty good second half of the season jury's familia looks like he did his job and craig kimbrell's going back up and he had a bounce back year from last year as well lineups wise bogarts is a 91 he had a really good season. Mookie Betts, um, not as good as last year in terms of average or on base percentage, but still a solid year. J.D. Martinez is starting to decrease, but you know his run production was definitely there. Paul DeYoung is going down, um, which is not good to see. He had a very rough year. Ben Attendee's in 89, and he had a phenomenal year. Very good year. Devers, very good year. Guzman is in 82. You can see his numbers are pretty, pretty consistent from last season. Jackie Bradley Jr., okay. And Christian Vasquez, he's up to an 81. That's good to see. Um, Tomlinson, just a good bench back. Swihart, decent there. Steve Pierce, I mean, he's he's aging, so he's definitely going to decrease. And Jerickson Profar, um, looks like he was a pretty decent bench bat as well. So overall, the team's looking solid. Um, we're going to be taking the Yankees or Astros um, in the next round. So let's see who we're playing. We're taking on the Yankees. All right. Okay. Oh my gosh. We've I don't get it. Why? Like why can I never just get the luck? Like first round knockouts are just like like my middle name. Like just first round knockout. That's all that happens. The Cubs beat the Yankees. Season three, here we go. Everybody was given arbitration. Um, we don't really have any big contracts. We basically have everybody locked up for the future. So um, I'll just go through this real quick. Alrighty, the trade we're making to start season three is Joe Musgrove for um, 
Brandon Finnegan, uh, another player that we picked up in free agency, Aaron Blair. Um, we picked him up last season. I was kind of hoping he'd develop a little bit better to become a little bit better of a trade piece, but didn't really work out. And Zhu Wei Lin um, is being traded for the 87 overall starting pitcher. So with the with that move, um, I think that that that's it. I mean, I don't really want to make too many more moves. Um, I feel like our first baseman pool is looking pretty nice, but outside of that, I mean, the team is pretty set. Like we, like you see all this, like there's no there's no real reason to make any changes there. Like offensively, we look amazing. Um, Musgrove needs to go in. I let who did I let go at Pomerant? Not Pomeranz. Obviously, we're missing a starter, and I can't think of his name right now. Um, basically, he was down to like an 80 overall. He dropped a lot, um, and because of that, I felt that it was just best for us to let him go. He wanted about the same amount of money as um, what Musgrove is getting, and if we're getting a higher rated pitcher, I felt like we could definitely make the trade at the beginning of the season and get a higher rated pitcher, and we did. We got Musgrove for about the same amount of money that we would have paid the starting pitcher that was decreasing in overall. So this is the team. Um, like I said, I, I like it. I don't understand why we're not winning games. Like we, we're such a good team and we're not winning games. So hopefully um, we have a bit of a bounce back. Um, some players had a bit of a down year. So hopefully we can turn, turn some things around and just get, just get some wins, you know? Um, so catch you guys the deadline day. The deadline day, you guys can see the standings here. Um, it's pretty close, only a game and a half. Um, these are the picks for the CPU. Pretty pretty decent looking um, picks. We had to move Hutchinson over because currently we have Chris Sale with a head fracture and he's been out for six months. That is unreal. Like, and then JD Martinez tore his hamstring, so he was out for about two months. And uh, we're, we're, we were in a bit of a pickle there. So we have Hutchinson here. Um, I kind of wanted to move... Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll put um, Carlos Martinez there just because he is higher overall. But you can see Waka's having a phenomenal season. Mus Musgrove, not so much. Uh, Rodriguez is definitely having a good year. Eovaldi's okay, and we'll see how Martinez does in that spot. Uh, the lineup, we'll start at the bottom. 283 for Vasquez. Um, Jackie Bradley Jr. is going down, so it might be time to move on from him. Swihart's an 80. De Jong is he's just... He's not, it's not doing it this year, you know. De Jong's just not hitting as well. 83 for Guzman. Um, Devers is a 92. Betts is hitting 300. Ben Attendee's 274. Like, we have... I don't get it. Like, just it's just not... Man, it's just not going well. So, hopefully, things can change. Um, I'd even look at the, the bullpen. Hutchinson was doing decently. Cologne's doing decently. Wilson, a little bit of a rough patch. Um, he's decreasing. Claudio, a little bit of a rough patch as well. Um... So maybe it's like the back end of our rotation that's really letting us down. Um, looking at some of the other players in the farm system, we don't really have anybody who could be called up to help us. Maybe Chavis. But outside of that, uh, ooh, Travis. Maybe him too. Um, let's see what happens if we bring him up to the majors. Does he drop? He drops to a 70, so that's that's still you know decent. Um, Pitching-wise, I think we're okay. I think we're going to need a new bullpen arm. Um, and we have just the player to do it um and kenyan middleton uh he goes up to almost an 80 once we bring him to the major so that's good now we have that arm um since sale has kind of moved uh who did we take out oh yeah martinez went to the starting rotation rather than um having sale there because sales hurt so this is what we're looking like i don't know what we need to do maybe move some of the players who are decreasing based on just their performance of the hit so maybe a new center fielder so let's see if we can find a new center fielder all right we're going after Corey dickerson um he is a left fielder but ben attendee can play uh center field and i looked at some of the other players that we could have traded for and it seems like he has the most pop on the bat um that we could get um we're also kind of lacking at dh so maybe we could have gone for that but Corey dickerson i think it's just you know he's he's pretty consistent Another player I looked at was uh, um, Kyle Schwarber, but he doesn't look like he's developing too much. Um, 
But with that in mind, I mean, I definitely could try to swindle another player off the Cubs and see if we could do that. I mean, like, we do we need another infielder? We don't really need another infielder. Um, and I don't think I can get Hap here. Yeah, Hap has way too much value. Um, I feel like we do need a DH because, well, JD Martinez is coming back soon. Yeah, we're going to go... So we're going Corey Dickerson. We're going to move Ben Attendi to center. Um, he's just got some pop on the bat. And I feel like he could definitely help us out. Jackie Bradley Jr. is going down in rating. Um, we're getting rid of Danny Mars and Bradford Encarnacion. Um, they're just not players who are going to develop too much more. Um, and I, I think that's that's a trade that like I'm, I'm fine with making because um, I just... I think we need a little bit more pop on the bat. You know, you never, you never can go wrong with that. Plus, um, uh, la, 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 la. oh, JD is coming back soon, so like we'll be, we'll be set once that happens. Um, why is hold on? Swihart can play left, but so can Profar. Hmm. interesting i didn't know that we had a catcher who could play left field uh but yeah like i think once jd comes back we'll be set and i, I kind of like that i kind of like that a lot actually um if actually i want to go back to that because i i don't want to play catcher i'd rather have him dh so that's that's what we're gonna do i've like i said i feel comfortable with the team i think the team's really really good it's just when it comes to playoffs we never can do anything so let's see if this is the one that does it and we can win a game in the playoffs. Catch you guys at the end of the season. As you guys can see, this is our worst season yet. 99 and 64. We did win the division though. So that's good to see. Um, awards. Got a few gold gloves. That was about it. Um, and then let's check. Yeah, we won it by a game. Holy cow. Um, the Cubs won 101 games. The Dodgers won 111. Um, let's check the team. How everybody performed. Um, Chris Sale was out for the year, which is unfortunate, but Michael Walker looks like he was like our ace for this year. Musgrove did okay. Carlos Martinez, okay. He was been our fill-in starter. Eovaldi and Eduardo Rodriguez, just maybe it was this year that our, you know, again, our pitching kind of let us down. Drew Hutchinson did pretty solid. Colomb did well, actually. Wilson, a little bit rough. Um, Claudio, you know, again, went on to a, like a poor side rather than a good um he had a bad year that's what i'm trying to say kenya middleton okay um familia not as good as last year and kimbrel not as good as last year so it's looking like our bullpen was our issue this season 280 for xander bogarts um a little bit less in terms of average from last year so, you know not too far off though ben attendee not as good as last year bets you know around 300 still pretty solid um jd martinez he was hurt for quite a bit um guzman more homers and more ribbies which is good to see de Jong, it's just he's just not performing well and it's rough um christian vasquez devers and dickerson so maybe actually just a combination of everything that you know pitching hitting just didn't really line up well this season because it's looking like some of our better players didn't perform hitting wise looking at some of the prospects we have darwinson hernandez is up to a 72 doug sherry's up to a 72 we got brian mata um this vincente campos william cuevas um durbin feltman uh let's see who else who else who else who else we got travis tice i andrews casas um chavis like i've said before chat ham um, and that's really about it. So like we do have some prospects there. Obviously, we aren't gonna have like this crazy good farm system um, We're gonna be taking on the Yankees or the Mariners. I'm kind of hoping for the Mariners <sighs> All right, what's gonna happen this time around? Oh, um, we're, we're getting knocked out again. Like it's just <sighs> I don't get it Like I don't really want Carlos Martinez pitching, but we're going against Severino. So like, all right, we're doing this. Um, Yeah, this is the team I feel comfortable with. 
Let's see how it goes. That's a good start. Just no runs though. And then this stuff happens. Like, what? Two nothing to start the game. Okay. All right, we got two outs. Dickerson. I got to watch Martinez's stamina because it's not that good. But I'm not feeling comfortable here. <sighs> Pitching change in the third inning. He gets out of the jam. That's what I'm talking about. A single, a strikeout. Like, this... We have more hits than them, and we're losing. You see what I'm saying? Like, this is ridiculous. Okay. First two runners on, and we couldn't score. What is this nonsense? I hate this game. Like, I absolutely hate this game right now. We get one back. I think it's too little too late, though. Everyone's just, just, okay, we're down three. We got six outs left. Okay, we're down two. Okay, 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 all right. All right, last three outs. I don't know what to do. Oh, they brought in a righty? Doesn't matter. Like, what is going on with Sim lately? I can't catch a break. I think that's like three of the last four rebuilds where we couldn't get past the first round of the playoffs. It's just infuriating especially with the teams that we have like this is a really good team and i don't understand how we're not winning games he hit 67 like how how can you tell me you look at this squad that they don't make it to the world series even out of the first round of the playoffs so that's it's infuriating um but i hope you guys do enjoy it the rebuilds you guys get to see me rage a little bit you guys get to see the teams that we're creating. And I I, I think they're really good teams. Like, they're, they're really, really good teams. Um, like, you have 290 pitchers in sale. You have an 88 in Musgrove. Um, you got Martinez in the bullpen, who's an 89. Eovaldi Eduardo Her Rodriguez, who 83 and 83 for a 4 and 5 starter is a really good rating to have. Um... You got Hutchinson, who pitched poorly in the playoffs, but overall was an amazing bullpen arm for us. Um, Carlos Martinez did all right. And like everybody here, this season was a little bit rough. But when you look at the season before, you know, actually, Colom had a good year. Wilson, not as good as the previous year. Claudio had an amazing season last season. So I think season two was really the year that we should have won a, a championship. And we just didn't. Um, like our pitching was unreal we had really good hitting i just i don't understand how a team like this isn't making it far into the playoffs so i hope you guys enjoyed this rebuild if you did make sure you hit that subscribe button hit that like button as well if you enjoyed the content leave a comment down below what do you guys think is going on with my ability to win games i obviously can't anymore but um that's that's really about it guys i hope you guys did enjoy the video um once again like button if you did in the comment section below let me know the other teams you guys want to see rebuilt and that's going to bring it to an end guys i'll catch you all in the next video peace